Why is servant leadership trending? So to answer this question, let's use a framework that I use. And if you're new to this channel, think of any problem just like a tree. The tree gets its water from its roots to stay alive, right? The same way, when what you see, feel, or touch is nothing but a symptom of the problem. And a problem goes much deeper. It has many factors, several root causes, but all you can see is a symptom at the top. So technically, if you fix the root causes, you can fix the factors and ultimately the symptom itself. So let's try and paint a bigger picture that looks more like this. And feel free to take a screenshot. We start with the symptom, dive into the factors on why it exists, and then branch out to the root causes. So let's start with the symptom, which is the fact that servant leadership is a trend that began in the 1970s, which uh, is about leading people by serving them. The authoritarian leadership style of dictating is moving away into a people-first mentality, which is rising among leaders today who adopt a values-based leadership approach. And to understand this symptom, we'll break it into the top three factors on why this happens. And the first factor is that many companies adopt a mindset of meeting the targets instead of enabling the people and process that foster long-term growth. But why? And the first root cause is that innovation and improvements are more common in workplaces where people come together to voice their ideas and execute on those plans. See, if people cannot freely discuss their ideas and execute on these plans, then you're not really enabling people and process that leads uh, towards the growth of the company. And moreover, setting targets answers the what question, but leaders who take the time to explain the why and trust their people to find the how are more likely to succeed in rallying the troops. Now, factor number two is that employees and employers are less loyal to each other. Due to the ever-increasing supply of skillful workers and the availability of new jobs. Think about it. There is a lot of movement of employees from one company to another, and people are less worried about tenure and instead focused on a job that brings them fulfillment. So why is that? That's because as employees are more frustrated on the job, loyalty to their employers come into question. If leaders are more like dictators, employees will leave if they cannot find what they are looking for. And moreover, companies that do not invest in leaders who listen are risking their effort to sort of retain their top employees who would have brought them incredible success in the future. And the final factor of why servant leadership is trending is because leadership itself is evolving into building communities so that people follow the leader instead of following the company. Well, why is that? Well, it's because more and more employees are buying into the leader and not the company that they work for. If they don't look up to the leadership, then they won't go the extra mile to bring positive results, right? And finally, leaders who listen are effectively providing a platform to their employees to voice their concerns. See, when leaders act on this voice, employees see and help the leader to achieve success. All right. So let's recap. These are the top six root causes why servant leadership is evolving and trending. First, Organizations want leaders to bring an innovation or innovative mindset, which doesn't happen if people cannot work together on executing new ideas. And leaders who explain the why and trust people on the how are more likely to bring people together. More companies are realizing that 
authoritarian leadership doesn't work anymore and they want leaders who can listen so that top employees feel heard and stay with the organization. Because if employees cannot trust leaders, they won't go the extra mile. And finally, employees notice when leaders listen and act, and that's what motivates them to help the leader bring success for the company. So here is my question to you. What is your number one problem solving tip to fix these root causes? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment below. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, help me by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, and sharing this with a friend. I'll see you in the next problem-solving exercise.